my, there are still those who refuse to see the light. Stand up, my children. We must cleanse the world of those who do not believe. Heaven is always merciful to its children. If we take the altar back and protect it, the heavens will reward us with their blessing. My beloved children, the time of our final trial is upon us. Rise! The world united by the way of peace is close at hand. So the chaos of the land has spread this far. Ah! A world at war. And now, our time has come! Let's go. Once we bring an end to the chaos, this land will be ours. Fight for a new era of peace! The enemy commander is mine! Sun Xion, you are now a servant of the Yellow Tavern! That's one more disbeliever converted! Let us lend our ears to the voice of heaven! I'm too far from the altar to cast the incantation! Stand and fight with honor! in battle for the glory of war. That's one more disbeliever converted! Fool! 
Charles, can't you see that there is no reason behind your blades? Come, there is no greater reason than that which exists in the way of peace. Awaken! Fight for the glory of heaven! The Age of Peace awaits. Lead your army to the altar now! We cannot let them beat us! Prepare yourself! Look sharp, everyone! Forward, march! So, my might was not enough! That's one more disbeliever converted! <laughs> Pathetic mortals! Come and be crushed! Grant me the strength to crush these heathens! Those rocks won't let us near their main camp! Speed is of the essence! Follow me!
one more! This believer converted! That's what we've been waiting to see! I'm going to kill every last one of these rebels. Heaven is with us. Punish the heathens. Heaven shall exercise the evil within you! We're on the verge of elimination! These are worthy opponents. Now is the time to raise the sword of virtue. Do 
troublemakers have gone too far. I'll see that you're all put to death! Silence, you bug! I shall squash you beneath my feet! Not enough! That's one more disbeliever converted! <laughs> we have buried Heijin and his pitiful army. Those who oppose heaven shall be punished severely. If only they would have just accepted a land under the yellow turban. Now there are none left to oppose us. The time of the haunt is over. The era of the yellow turbans has begun. Let us welcome the coming of the way of This body go-
It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land, Zhang Jiao from the Zhu Lu region. Although a distinguished scholar, he failed to become a court official. He eventually encountered a mystic who gave him a scroll entitled The Way of Peace. Zhang Jiao studied this text and in time gained mystical powers. He eventually became the founder of The Way of Peace. At that time, the Han court's power was rapidly deteriorating due to the corruption of the eunuchs. Heavy taxation and countless natural disasters brought the people's suffering to its peak. As the land fell deeper into chaos, followers of Zhang Jiao increased in numbers. He zealously proclaimed, the time of the Han has ended, to which his followers responded by intense rioting. The followers of Zhang Jiao all donned yellow scarves on their heads, and thus were called the Yellow Turbans. The Han court sought to quell this uprising quickly, but to no avail. The desperate Han court appointed He Jin as commander in an attempt to put down the Yellow Turbans. However, the Han forces were decimated by both Zhang Jiao's miracles and fanatical troops. The Han court, which had spread misery throughout the land, finally saw its end. The victorious yellow turbans all obeyed Zhang Jiao when he told them to put down their weapons. Peace was restored and a new era was about to begin. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. And united in our piety, we will never have to experience war again. Long be the reign!